walk me through this imprinting and like you said that you knew the moment and that it was very clear to you and I guess my question to you would be would that have happened at some point just happenstance with somebody else or is it specific to not just the time the moment the stress or kind of what was happening but also you as an individual like was there something about you that made that connection happen so, so that I can't attest to, although I'll say that if, if there was some divinity to it, they chose, the animal chose right. Like, the, it, you know, she chose the right person to protect her. But no, this is, this is uh, super unique, anomalous, and it it's, has everything to do with the, the stress of the moment, you know, the heightened state of emotion, the, the entirety of it. It's, it's frankly what you would call a lottery win, only, only by virtue of, just, of an example of, of, of being against all odds. But it's not something we're seeing out in... Uh, out in other facilities, you just you just don't see it. I mean, you can condition a walrus to prefer you to the next person through familiarity, but this was nothing of the sort. This was scientifically sound. She thinks I'm her mom, and it, and it, and to the depths of which that even my connection to her might be that of a similar sort of uh, power because you know we've got this bond that's that's frankly unbreakable. Like I'm I'm now a decade in trying to be reunited with, or 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 better yet, just to get her removed removed from the park. And it's it's at exactly all costs. I had to put every single solitary aspect of my of my well being, be it mental, <laughs> physical, be it emotional, spiritual, be it my fiscal sovereignty. I mean, I put it all on the line for this animal. I don't know that that's something that anyone would do for an animal that they didn't feel an incredibly powerful bond with. So there's something innate and natural about it that is, you know, obviously spread between uh, the two species. But it's not something we've seen before. It's not something you're gonna see before. It's or again, it's it's just the nature of it. Uh, you know, at two years of age, walruses don't people people or animals don't re-imprint on walruses. It only ever happens. I mean, it happens in life once. You're not going to, you know, a giraffe isn't gonna be born today and be like, oh, this is my mom, and then and then run away with the wrong mom. You know, it's just yeah. you know, it's just not how it's just not the way nature works. So it is it is an anomaly. It's something that happened. It's very unique, special, different, crazy. Yes. Uh, but that's exactly what it is. It's, it's, it's innate and very unique. Do those walruses or other animals that don't imprint on somebody and who aren't with their natural mother or father, do they act different? And how, I mean, obviously I would imagine now I'm thinking about it, the effect that in and of itself is sad that Dude, you're taking them away, but cause if they can imprint on you, then what's the neck, what's the reverse to that, right? Like, so the reverse of that is you got a very traumatized animal in a, in a strange space that its only trust is in this alien being that's giving it food, but there's no bond whatsoever. There's only, I provide the food, you relax your inhibitions, and I'm going to teach you how to get through the motions of life as best as you can, despite the, your, uh, your incredible, immeasurable stress. So when you take an animal, a, a baby, and you remove it from their mother, and you break that bond, you steal them, they don't, they don't they don't return to a level of normalcy in their, in their, in their being. They're always this inherent fear. They're always in an, in an alien space. The difference between Smooshy and the rest of every animal I've ever encountered is she, at least for a moment, believed that that space, that environment was natural to her because of the imprinting. And it explains why she today is the last walrus to have survived since I quit. Like every other walrus will have died. Uh, she had, she's had a baby through no fault of her own. Uh, you know, another one of Marine Land's evil little ploys, but, uh, you know, they do what they do. And unfortunately, because she's recognized this property and they treat her as such, uh, there's very little we could do by way of, of, of keeping whatever it is that they, whatever plans they have for her, sick as they are. But yeah, those animals, I, I've never known an animal to be comfortable in captivity quite like Smooshy. And I attribute it entirely to the fact that she was, she had convinced herself you know, through this process that she was in a natural environment. Mm -hmm. Shakes it incredibly sad for every other animal. 99.9999999999% of every animal in captivity feels the opposite of comfortable. 